Hey everybody, this is Dallas Stone here, doing another uh, Let's uh, 3D model. So, um, all right. So it looks. So I mean, I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up. I, I tried to do a Let's Play of uh, Warhammer 40K, and holy cow, man, the video the video file was so big that I decided that it was probably not. Um, it's not feasible for me to actually uh, do a Let's Play. So, um, I'm sorry guys, uh, I'm going to have to retract what I said about doing some Let's Plays. Um, I guess now I know for my channel, it's just not feasible and uh, just not something that I can that I can do. Um, do the sheer upload and all that stuff, it's just, it's just not possible for me. So, I'm sorry guys, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys if you guys were excited about that. But, what that means is that means I get to focus more on my 3D stuff and... Um, and on the side, I'll just play the games on my own and then kind of have my own little review on it or whatever. So, all right. So back to this here. And uh, and what am I going to do here today? So right now, so I'm just going to do some more modeling. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I don't think I should model the shelf for you guys to see. Uh, I mean, the shelf is probably pretty easy for me to model. Um, so, I mean, I can quickly just, I'm not going to make anything too fancy I'm just gonna like bevel a cube essentially um, to make it look a little bit nicer uh, where is that uh, my contents uh, let's go to sorry guys I like went and I took a quick nap um, it's like three o'clock in the morning I'm trying to stay up as for as late as I can uh, so that I'm well rested so that I can pass out on the on the plane um, so let me see here what am I doing I'm trying to import I'm trying to import the shelf. I think that I... Where's the shelf? Shelf. Here we go. So I'm going to import this in here. <clears throat> so that's the shelf. And I'm going to put this at the zero, zero. So that's the size of the shelf here. And I will create a new cube. So that's the shelf. This is... So this is shelf. That's the blocking, and I'm gonna take this. And I'm just gonna scale this up. I'm just gonna scale it up and stuff like that. Yeah, so sorry guys if I'm not uh, too, too talkative. Um, the next few episodes, I mean, like I said, I'm uh, <clears throat> starting to drain out of energy here, but I'm gonna try in my best to to to. Well, sorry to do as much as I can like I said I know that I'm not gonna be around for a little bit so I want to try and put out as many videos as possible and you know I'll be honest with you guys I just I mean I want I want to get this uh, this scene done um, the fact that it's taking me this long just to kind of get the scene going is um, it's a little bit depressing to be honest with you guys <clears throat> yeah so I mean like this to me is is, is pretty good I mean the, the, the kitchen is supposed to be relatively clean um, so it's your, uh, what did I call it I called it something for sure um, what did I call it let's go and uh, figure that out here source props uh, shelf a that's what I called it what's funny is um, I was like watching my let's play that I did and I was like man how come I I was like man this is it's a lot harder than it looks you know what I mean so um, I was like man how do I how do I continue to entertain and talk about things and you know being I've been doing uh, let's 3d models for so long that like now it just feels natural for me to do these and I mean I'm sure I had hesitations before when I was starting this out like way back when um, but because now I've been doing it for so long, um, it's just second nature for me just to kind of ramble on and, and say different things to kind of fill in, to fill the air, right? So, um, it was just really interesting to see, to see that. <clears throat> to see, like, the difference between, um, something that I've been doing for a very long time and something that I'm still relatively new at. All right, so um, I should definitely have my snap on. And where's my shelf? My shelf. So here's my new shelf. 
So, there it is. Now, why is it not snapping properly? That's depressing. Why is it not snapping properly? Okay, well, it's not snapping to the grid that I gave it. It's okay. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our little our new shelf there. And um again I'm just going to give it the blue the blue texture. All right, just give it a blue texture. Save it. And uh time for me to do the microwave. And then after the microwave, I mean, I can start to do some texturing. Um, I might want to start doing the walls, just because um, that might be nice to kind of get to see the walls a little bit more. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the walls, and stuff like that. So... Yeah, let's uh, let's get um, let's try and get this microwave done here. <clears throat> let's see. So we finished the shelf, and now it's time to do the microwave. Um, new scene. Let's import in the uh, where is it? Import the prop. I'm pretty sure I should have a microwave. Oh, nope, not what I wanted. Import microwave FBX. There it is, that's the size. I'm just going to center pivot. Move the asset there. And um, it's probably because I'm not center pivoting it into the corner somewhere. So I'm having the center pivot in the middle, which is probably screwing it all up. I can confirm that after I finish this microwave. Um, do I have some reference images for this microwave? So let me see here. I do have a microwave. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a microwave here as my reference. So I'm just going to put this to the side. You guys won't be able to see it. But, um, but yeah, okay, that's pretty cool trying to think of the best ways to create this microwave hmm there's a lot of things going on on there creating a texture for that would be pretty would be pretty cool okay um that's what I want to do here what I want to do I can make either like depends it really depends on, on on the uvs right on it but okay so let's let's just start the modeling process here um, so again i have my scale right that i've taken from unreal and uh, i mean it's obviously not a real scale but it's unreal scale and that's that's what matters uh, when we're creating these things um, what did I name this uh, let's go content props microwave oh sorry microwave a I'm just gonna name it microwave a and call this blocking and uh, okay so I'm just gonna close that okay so this is the shape that we have for the microwave and um, there's a few things that we have to worry about so the first thing that I'm noticing here is um, so the door right hmm. so the door usually to a microwave I mean there's not is probably gonna start about right there right so let's say that that is kinda like the door for the microwave um, so what I'm going to do is I will create another, I'm going to create another cube here actually, and this cube, I'm going to turn on the wireframe here so you can see what's going on, 
Oh, nope, that's not wireframe. Uh, where's the wireframe? There's the wireframe. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to delete that. I'm going to move this edge to there. And now I'm going to take my first one. I'm going to isolate it. And then I'm also going to uh, take this face and I'm going to move it back to that edge. Then I'm going to merge these vertices. I'm going to merge these vertices. There we go. And then I'm going to get rid of the isolate. So now I have uh, the door. And um, <clears throat> the door is a separate piece now, right? And um, another thing is there's this kind of like side piece right here. So this is a separate piece, right? So I'm going to actually make this a separate piece, and this is its own separate piece. So I'm going to um, also do the same thing on this side. And this time I'm going to just make a judgment call. I think it's about that size there. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this again. And I'm going to take this face, move it over here. I'm just going to merge vertices, right? And select this one, isolate, select again, move all these vertices move it over here. And this should be eight. Once I merge it, oh, what happened? F2, oh, something happened. Yeah, that's four. Perfect. So now you have the three pieces. I have the the core piece here. I have the next core piece right here, and another core piece here. So, <clears throat> so there we have it. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to center pivot all these. And then what I notice right away is that oops, sorry, not a cube. I want a cylinder. And so this is the cylinder. Okay, so here we go. And I'm just going to look at this here. And it's definitely not as thick. This is kind of like the handle. All right, this is the handle. And I'm going to do this here. Um, oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. Um, so this is going to be the handle. Um, I'll put this about right there. I still feel like that might be a little bit too thick. So I'm just going to go like that. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay. So there we go. So now we have like the basic shape there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly uh, modify this cylinder. So that it has kind of like the shape that this reference images, uh, this reference, blah, blah, this reference image has, um, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut the video and then we'll move on to the detailed part of it um, in the next video. So this is this video is more of like um, <clears throat> just getting the shape down, right? So no, nope, that's not what I want. I want the Z. There we go. All right, so this kind of gives us that little detail there that we want, All right? So now we kind of have that look, um, a nice look that we want. And I'm going to assume that um, there's something that's connecting this uh, door handle to the to the um to the door so i'm just going to delete these faces that i'm not going to need right there make sure that there's only two faces selected delete those and i'm just going to shove these into hold on i'm just going to do this on top of you here um where is it let's go there i'm just going to shove this I'm just going to select it, center pivot, align this right into the middle, oh, right into the middle, 
vertices shove it in shove this in and we should be good there we go so that's perfectly aligned I'm gonna move this down a little bit more and I'm gonna move I'm gonna add another one down here okay so that's kind of like the basic shape of the microwave um, and then I'll go into the more detailed parts of the microwave uh, in the next video